start this off without Paimon having to talk in my ear every two seconds. Anyway, uh, we got this event here. And I believe it is all here now. Um, it should be all here, yes. Yes, it is all here. Um, I cannot tell if this takes place before this or after. If I get locked out of it, then I know for sure. But I need to do this because it'll, the event will be gone at some point. And I think they had hints as the a sibling is in this quest, so I have put the name back to Amin for, the, for this event. And we're just gonna go through it and see what we got. It seems there was like a shit ton of prerequisites that you had to do for this quest. Like, you need to do a lot of story quests for characters and a lot of side quests. I think the entire Chasm side quest you had to do. Oh, Traveler and Paimon? I didn't expect to see you two here. It has been quite some time. And they? Shouldn't you be at work in Lele Harbor? What are you doing out in the middle of nowhere? Well, to be perfectly honest, this case is a little out of the ordinary. In fact, this is the first time I've ever witnessed the bottom of the chasm. Oh, but before I forget, could you do me a favor, please? If anyone happens to ask about me or my present whereabouts, just tell them you haven't seen me. Huh? What are you talking about? Yenfei, you didn't do something illegal, did you? No, no, it's not like that. Uh, look, it's quite a long story. So if you could, please just cover for me. I'll see you later. Was she just running off? Hey! And there she goes. What in Tibet was that all about? I'm starting to feel nervous all of a sudden. Do you think she did something illegal and now she's gone into hiding here? <gasps> or maybe something super scary happened? Man, I gotta ask her, what is it with so many, like, things? Like, you're not on Earth, yeah? And so every other story that you're not on, like, the normal Earth, they have to say, what in this, what in the name of, like, this place? Like, <laughs> for a bunch of Ruby fanfics, they're like, what in Remnant? And then here, for Genshin, it's like, what in Tavat? Like, can't you just say what in the world? I guess it's just a tiny bit of a pet peeve of mine for like no reason. Anyway, doubt it. Yenfei is a legal advisor after all. Also, I am so happy I got Yenan. I didn't think a part of me didn't think I was gonna get her. I I so thought when I saw the gold glow, um, that I missed her. Don't be so naive. The world is complicated these days, you know. We should be prepared for the worst. If something really did happen, we might find ourselves becoming our accomplices. Oh, what a dilemma. Should we really cover for her? Paimon, you are the one that's both naive and complicated. There's Ito. And, uh, Kuki, I believe is her oh, name. Hey, you over there! Yeah, you! <sighs> Someone's coming! Yeah, you had to finish Ito's story quest, Raiden... Who else? And then, of course, the teapot stuff for Yenfei, and then the entire chasm stuff. There's, like, a lot you have to do for this side quest. But then again, like, it wouldn't seem like a lot if you've already had everything done before this this uh, event even came out. But that voice sounds pretty familiar. Can you not see? Ah, <laughs> it's you two. So, uh, what are you two doing in a place like this, huh? Wait, don't tell me. Hmm... You're on vacation. I'm actually also surprised that um, Cookie isn't available yet. I think it's on Ito's rerun. Is he getting a rerun? I don't know. Anyway, it's the one and only it, <laughs> the one and only Ito. I must say, you two are looking pretty good. Things been going your way lately? Cause I have been doing amazing. <laughs> uh, Ito, who's that behind you? Hey there, I'm with the Arataki gang. Kuki Shinobu, nice to meet you. It was nice to have Kyria Buckland in here. I hope she can voice two characters. Because she definitely could voice another character, especially with just 
this one wine I got from her, she could totally voice another character in the game for us. Oh, <laughs> all right. I almost forgot she was back there. Let me introduce you to Shinobu, the pride and joy of the Arataki gang. Oh, another member of Ito's gang! Let me tell you, she's one of Hanamizaka's best and brightest, so of course she's in the gang. Shinobu takes care of practically everything in the Arataki gang. She can protect you guys too, you know. A friend of the boss is a friend of mine. You must be the traveler in Paimon. Yep, yep. Nice to meet you too, Shinobu. And I hope it doesn't start any echoing bullshit. Nice to meet you, Shinobu. The pleasure's mine. I have a feeling that we'll be working together soon enough. Why does she have makeup if she's supposed to be, like, almost a ninja? So, uh, Ito, if she's the one that takes care of everything in the gang, then doesn't that kind of make her the gang's real boss? <sighs> Are you kidding? Of course I'm the boss! To the four corners of Tavat, there is only one boss of Hanamizaka's legendary Arataki gang, a me. Uh, okay. Paimon gets the dynamic now. A useless boss with an ultra-capable subordinate. Damn. Hey, you- Ain't that something. Uh, you know what? Forget it. The average person couldn't possibly understand the dynamics of the Arataki game. As the leader, I can't let myself stoop down to your level. <clears throat> anyway, have you seen a pink-haired legal, uh, mage lady? Wears a goofy hat, knows everything, kinda short. Uh-oh. Her name's Yenfei. She's a legal advisor from Liyue. I thought perhaps you two would know her. Oh, no. We haven't seen her. We don't know this person at all. <laughs> Seriously, Paimon, you would have slipped the moment you said, uh-oh. Aha, so you have seen her. Uh, no. What gave you that idea? Paimon didn't say anything. <clears throat> oh, look at you getting all antsy. <laughs> Seems I was able to get to the truth after all. When someone is lying, their eyes often start wandering subconsciously. <laughs> anyway, don't worry. I assure you we don't have any ill intentions. So, uh, you guys know Yanfei? Well, she, uh, kind of saved my life, so... Yeah, you could say we've met. She saved your life? Wait, hold on. What are you two doing in the chasm anyway? Sorry, Paimon can be a bit slow. You know that the Sakoku decree has been lifted recently in Inazuma, right? Well, Shinobu wanted to come to Liyue and pick up her graduation certificate. I came along because it's safer to travel in numbers. Graduation certificate? Did you study in Liyue? Yes. I studied law at the Tongwen Academy in Liyue. Unfortunately, the Sakoku decree was implemented just when I was home visiting my family before graduation. So I'm a few years late getting my graduation certificate. You know, Kyria, she sounds like, she sounds a lot like, like Erika Windbeck when she is doing this voice for Shinobu. She sounds like Uzume and stuff like that. We were taking care of some errands in Liyue, and the boss got tangled up with some Millilith while we were standing in a line. He was about to get arrested when, luckily, Yenfei happened to be walking past and helped us out. Yep. If it wasn't for her, our trip to Liyue would have ended with me in the slammer. <laughs> so, you know, I just wanted to do something nice to show my heartfelt gratitude. But, she said she didn't need my help with anything. I thought there's a chance she might run into trouble here on her own, so I followed her here. Yeah, just in case she needs me to come leaping to her rescue. <laughs> so, you're forcing her to accept your help. Do Oni usually reply acts of kindness like this? Listen, Granny said that a man must learn to be grateful, and... I'm gonna help this legal advisor lady no matter what it takes. Uh, that's nice and all, but what if she really doesn't need your help? <laughs> You're joking, right? I mean, that's not possible. Of course she needs my help. <clears throat> Traveler. Is Shinobu trying to hint at something? That way. Maybe she's hinting for me to distract Ito. Uh, Yenfei went that way. Ah, great. Thanks. I'll go after her. Shinobu, time to roll. You're not my savior. Ito's coming to your rescue. Appreciate the help. Until next time. Uh, Traveler, did you just send Ito the wrong way on purpose? Huh. Shinobu seemed pretty sharp. 
Paimon doesn't think you can pull one on her like that. Or maybe she knows that Ito can be a big nuisance, so she's trying to stop him from bothering you then. Oh, if that's the case, then wow, she really knows how to call the shots. Well, at least this way nobody will be bothering Yanfei. If we run into her again later, we should let her know that we helped her out. Hmm. All right, now let's go take a look at the crash site from last time. The Perilous Trail. It's the, It's another interlude. I've also gotten back, just, just starting today, I've had to go back on buying a bunch of food and stuff because I have not been doing that for a long time and I'm running out of food. So I need to start buying shit again for Sumeru. Because I'm gonna need it. And I'm sure Sumeru ain't that far away by now. Yanfei is here too! Hey Yanfei! We sent away the people that were following you. Oh, good. Thanks a lot. The guy with the weird outfit seemed super outgoing. Normally, I don't mind making friends, but I've got work to do today. Huh? So what kind of work are you doing in a place like this? Aw, oh, don't tell Paimon you're thinking about becoming an adventurer, too. Well, as a legal advisor, sometimes I also have to travel in person. I came to the chasm to deal with a will. A... Uh, a will? That's right. I found a will inside an old book. I'm guessing it was left by someone of great importance. It appears he lost a magical device and wished to retrieve it. Paimon didn't know legal advisors have to deal with that kind of thing. Huh, what a job! Will execution is also part of my work as a legal advisor. Of course, cases like this are quite rare. The chasm is not the kind of place you can just waltz into whenever you want. Oh, so you do know what kind of place this is. <laughs> Who's that? Ah, huh, I thought I might find you here. That'd be our savior. Well, bro. Whatever case you're working on in the chasm, I'm sure Liyue's top legal consultant can handle it without my input. <laughs> That's funny. I thought we'd established that my legal opinion doesn't count for anything when Yelan's around. Yelan, okay. Uh. Who is she? This is Yelan. Leo is, uh... Well, let's just say she works in the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I can at least say that much, right? Anyway, she's a friend of mine. Sure. Coincidentally, I have something to do here as well. Seems chance has brought us all together. You may not know me, Traveler in Paimon, but I've certainly heard about you. Oh, really? I guess I do have many friends in Weiwei. You're all here on business, and it's my job to monitor the chasm. According to regulations, I should accompany you. You kind of have been, like, the whole time. But, as it turns out, I have other things that require my attention. I'm afraid I can't join you this time. You may go about your business. Just try not to make a ruckus. Oh, that's most unfortunate. I was about to ask for your assistance. Could you spare a little time to help me take care of this will? For old time's sake? Hmm, I don't know. Depends what's in it for me. <laughs> Fair enough. I suppose even a guide needs to get paid. It just so happens that Madame Ping gave me some nice tea. I'll treat you to a cup if you agree. <laughs> Why don't you tell me a little more about how you got here first? Then I'll... Hey, you! Uh-oh. Uh, you found us. Ito? What is he doing back here? I know what you two did. You really tried to throw me off, didn't you? <laughs> and I thought we were buds. Well, they're also my friends, so... That's close enough. Huh? Who are you? <laughs> Love the way Max delivered that, huh? By going, huh? Sorry, this area is part of the chasm. It's closed to the general public. Are you kidding me? I, I, I don't see any warning signs or fences. What gives you the right to keep me out? <sighs> Kid, where there's real danger, you'll never see a warning sign. Uh, Paimon never knew this place was so important. It really is an unusual place. It's true. This is not a place you can just go in and out of as you wish. That's also why I didn't want anyone to follow me. Unfortunately, you didn't listen. The Traveler has done a lot for Liyue in the past. 
And Yenfei is a renowned legal consultant in Liyue, so I can trust their intentions. As for you two... Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You're trying to say that I'm not famous enough and my intentions are no good? I don't know your background, so I can't give you free passage here. Besides, Yenfei doesn't seem to need your help, does she? Ha! How would you know what Yenfei needs? What, are you two joined at the hip or something? Right. Anyway, I don't need to be a mind reader to see that. In any case, as a visitor from Inazuma, I'd suggest you defer to a local when in doubt. Stick to the local rules and keep yourself out of trouble. Oh! <coughs> Why, you? Please, try not to be so impulsive. She is right, you know. Uh-oh. Things are starting to get a little heated here. Oh, not good. He really shouldn't start butting heads with Yelon. It's true that we don't know anything about the unique conditions of this place. So we'll heed your advice and leave immediately. But if this really is a dangerous area, seriously, you should put up a sign. Thanks for the suggestion. Oh, consider it. Oh yeah? And what if we don't leave, hmm? Boss! Then, I'm afraid things might get... unpleasant. Is that so? You really think you can take the two of us? <laughs> Gotta admit, I like your optimism. It's not even gonna be two, it's just gonna be you, bro. I do not think Shinobu's gonna fight. <laughs> Although you're friends with the Traveler and Yenfei, I'd still suggest you heed my warning. <laughs> Thanks for that, but uh, too bad I'm not buying it. If you're so strong, then why don't you show me what you got? Oh my god, man, please. You're about to get your Come ass on, handed boss. to you. There's no need to start a fight here. Oh no, I'm going in whether she likes it or not. She's literally going to appear behind you in two seconds. I know how her skill works. <laughs> you think I was joking around, huh? Uh-oh. Oh no, these two are about to go at it. Please, wait a minute, you two. This whole thing started because of me. Why don't you just save me the embarrassment and just... The crowd huh? is shaking? Uh-oh, it's a... Hey, stop trying to change the subject. I'm gonna... Uh, 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 well... Oh, crap. Just reminded myself how thumbnails have changed recently because fucking my iPad just got rid of the thumbnail thing I may I use. So I gotta make them Ugh. during editing. Ouch! What happened? Uh, oh, hey, are you alright? I'm fine. Did we fall into this place? Uh. Ow. Putting my books under me to break the fall didn't help at all. <sighs> this place. Where are we? Uh, I'm gonna feel that in the morning. Hey, Shinobu, traveler, and my savior. Is everyone okay? <sighs> well, this is an unfortunate turn of events. Hey, so, uh, how far down did we fall? Hmm. It seems the ground collapsed during our little confrontation up there. Perhaps because we triggered the elemental forces. Well, don't look at me. If you weren't so rude, maybe I wouldn't have gotten mad. <sighs> Who can put up with that kind of dude? <laughs> uh. It's my duty to stop intruders from breaking into important places. If telling the truth sounds rude, then I'm afraid you're just a little too fragile. Hey, life's too short to give in all the time. Boss, I'm afraid you're not going to win this argument. I suggest we stop provoking her. Hey, whose side are you on here? I'm simply pointing out the facts. I understand how you feel, but you're making my life difficult by starting random fights with everyone. <laughs> Looks like Ito can't argue against either Yeon or Shinobu. He's in a real tough spot now. So Ito and Shinobu are kind of like you and me. Ito. Yeah, you're right. I shouldn't try and hurt Ito like that. I mean, like, he's not as bad as you. Whoa, whoa, what do you mean? You looking for a fight too? Paimon was just saying how it is. Everyone knows you're a bit of an idiot. 
Yeah, no, he's, he's got more IQ than you. You calling me an idiot? Oh, yeah? Well, you're a, a puny little flying lavender melon, ha! Flying lavender melon? Oh, that's it! Paimon's mad! Time to give you an ugly nickname! Uh, Bullchucker! You better mind your manners, Bullchucker! Ugh, please, D don't do it. We seem to be a long way down from where we fell. It's impossible to see what's going on up above. <sighs> it's unlikely we'll be able to climb back up that far. We'll need to find another way. I'm sorry to interrupt your lovely little chat here, but I think there's something you may need to know. The chasm is regarded as a mysterious area in Liyue. It was sealed off for years due to a mining accident. Whatever goes on down here, oh, I suggest you remember this. You didn't see anything, you didn't hear anything, and you're not gonna ask any questions. Save you from getting caught up in things you shouldn't know about. I won't treat you as hostiles, and in exchange, I hope you won't make things difficult when it comes to keeping secrets. I'll do what I can to find a way out. <laughs> huh? Well, where does she think she's going? Like she said, to search for an exit. Chances are that Yelon is the best among us at survival and handling emergencies. We should just let her go. I'm afraid I must apologize. I don't typically disclose details of a client's will to third parties, which is why I couldn't tell you the truth. <sighs> I'm sorry. I came to the chasm in search of the Fantastic Compass, which is mentioned in the will. Many years ago, my client gave this magical device to someone ambitious, hoping that it'd be handy in times of need. According to an eyewitness account, the person who received the device took it into the chasm and has been missing ever since. Throughout history, many wars have been fought in the vicinity of the chasm. Even if that person died in one of the wars, I still wish to do my utmost and find the device and fulfill the client's wish. Yelon's words of caution were not unwarranted. There are dangers lurking in the chasm. I'm sure you've all realized that by now. Given that we're all caught in this mess, Let's try to find a way out together. Whatever you say, my savior, I'll do whatever you ask. From now on, we're a team. All of us. And as for that big jerk, well, hmm, I guess that includes her too. You said Yelon works for the Ministry of Civil Affairs, huh? Paimon can tell she's tougher than most, but wow, her job sounds demanding. Well, that's what she tells outsiders. I can't disclose too much about her identity, but I'd say she's the only person who can handle this type of work. What kind of lame job would have someone go out to the middle of nowhere? Oh, I'm a nose, an adventurer. Eh? Hey, what's with the face? Oh, did Paimon say something wrong? That's literally what the two of us do, isn't it? Uh, I'm the adventurer, Paimon, not you. Uh, you're so stingy these days. Oh, just let Paimon be an adventurer by association, okay? Yeah, she's got a point, Traveler. You're Paimon's boss. Take it from me. As a great leader, you should learn to be a little more generous. You know, let your sidekick share some of the glory. Ugh, you really don't understand anything about us. Paimon, don't take him too seriously. He's just joking. Ugh, for the sake of Shinobu, fine. <laughs> I'm the boss, so I'll let it slide. Hmm. Perhaps this was another sealed location, but an undocumented one. What could be in here? I've got some food and water on me. If anyone needs some, just let me know. Great! You know, Bull Checker, you may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but your subordinate here seems super capable and reliable. God, I hate that nickname, Paimon, please. <laughs> I know. Isn't she the best? What? Hey, I am too a sharp tool. There seems to be an entrance up ahead with a path inside. Wonder where it leads to. Well, let's go take a look. Oh boy. We'd find a domain entrance in a place like this. If there's a way in, then there's a way out. Let's go and take a look. The rocks here seem to be old Liyue mountain rocks. They're similar to what I've seen in books. This domain must have existed for quite some time now. 
<laughs> What's that sound? <sighs> it's just Xiao. Ah! Oh, it's Xiao. Conqueror of demons. What are you doing here? Huh? Oh, uh, I came down from above. Uh, I heard a noise, so I followed it here. So you're not here by accident. Hmm. Wanna team up? No, I have something else to do. Is it something important? I'm looking for someone. You shouldn't be here. I would urge you to go back as soon as possible. He's looking for his oh, friends. That's Shell for you. Shows up without a warning and disappears without a trace. Huh. That guy looked pretty tough. Maybe almost as tough as me. Seems like a solid dude. Seriously, bull checker? Where do you get your confidence from? I'm gonna get just just angry every time I hear that. Should we really be letting him go off on his own? Oh, he wouldn't listen no matter how much you tried to talk him out of it. He is super tough though, so don't worry about him. Everyone, keep your eyes and ears peeled from here on out. We don't know what lies ahead, so we have to be ready for anything. Oh, look, I'm happy to say we're all on the same team and everything, but uh, could you cut the little speeches and the whole follow the leader act? I, for one, think I should be able to look after myself. Boss! Ugh, okay, okay. Besides, Yelon is just looking out for everyone. You know, Bullchucker, mm. you're a guest here, so maybe try to get along with everyone. Ha! Please, you're not a local either, Flying Lavender Melon. So stop trying to sound like one. <laughs> they both need to get knocked in the head. Well, shit, okay. Ah, they were just... Current party level is lower than recommended. <laughs> well, that's just too bad. But I don't have a water. I don't have hydro character. They'll just throw Yay one in. I'm sure of it. Oh, they have not ascertain if the domain leads outside. Labyrinths like this are unique to Leo. Oh, this place is actually pretty cool. If we weren't in such a hurry to get out, we could kick back and enjoy the scenery a little. What stopped me? Oh, come on now. Oh, you know real. you're a waste of time. me think of this one character in Honkai Impact who also wears a mask, but you can take it off once you get her to, like, max friendship. Yeah. Nice Probably won't stuff. happen here in Genshin, I feel. I prefer with that mask, thank you. But not my choice, I guess. I've heard rumors that Golden uh, Apple Archipelago is coming back. And, uh, I mean, I guess you can't exactly say you'd never see it again. A bit of a surprise, though. I just don't like the way I gotta deal with thumbnails now. I gotta make words really big so you can actually see them. But, if I think about it, they weren't gonna last that way forever anyway. They were going to change. I'm not gonna... Hmm. Wait, you need to go... I can't 
go 